welcome back to my channel. More gorgeous vintage inspired hairstyles for you. Um, today I'm going to do a Dita bun. I've pushed all my hair to the very perimeter or forehead of my head because I want to push that Dita bun forward. I've used an extremely large black sponge. Everything that I'm showing you is available at Sally's. And I'm going around, I've split the hair in two, and I'm going around and covering the sponge and pinning it. And then I'm taking the very ends and wrapping it, pulling it all the way around and pinning it. And I'll be doing that on the other side as well. So um, just basic bobby pins will help. You can crisscross the bobby pins in certain places to help hold it even harder. And when I put the sponge in, I put a couple of base bobby pins just to hold it down while I'm wrapping it. And use a comb and some hairspray just to help smooth it down. Ideally, you want your hair to have been frizz-free when you do this, just so it's easier to smooth it and it'll look smoother in the final result. And that's the hairnet I'm using. Uh, it is called Mirage Ultra Invisible, and I love it. Uh, it helped just kind of pull everything in really quickly. You want to get everything as tight as possible, but the, the hairnet just holds it so you don't have to worry about it from flyaways or anything. I didn't have to hairspray it. And I just pulled it to the back, and then I pinned it. Now I'm pushing it forward and just kind of molding my bun and pulling it forward as much as possible and just flattening it. So um, just go ahead and do that with your hands and it's per it's super secure so don't worry about it. I don't love the sides of my hair. I'm used to having my bangs and I've tucked them under and that was super easy. So I've made these hair flowers to cover up a couple of spots I don't like. I'm going to flip it around so you don't see that metal prong clip and that's what I used as the base and they hold the hair really well. And now I'm putting in a couple more on the other side, and I see one hair in the back there, so I'll tuck that in. Um, but once I put the hair flower in, you're not going to see those odd little ends. So this is a great idea for an everyday hairstyle. And as you can see, there's no bangs. They're completely tucked in. One second. Okay, now the final look. So as you can see, that was super easy. There's no flyaways. And you can take a hairspray and a comb just kind of smooth out the base of it. But thanks very much for watching and be sure to check out my Instagram for my film noir feed and see more gorgeous uh, vintage inspired work. Thank you.